for doing. Boy, even if he came close to matching it, that would be really impressive. But I tell you, that's asking an awful lot of one guy. Picked by Griffin to the paint. It's deflected. Stolen by Beverly. Inside. Here's Harden. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Harden's I think I've already got a double double. Nope. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Freak. And he lobs it up toward the rim. A nice shot by Booker. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense has better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed. I tried hitting the alley -oop. Low post defense. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Freak. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. He's perfect from the line this time. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Nope. And maybe that one was stupid. Should have. Well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Stolen by Beverly. And here we go. Harden hits. Oh, that's and guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. That Kia slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. Udrich with the excellent feed that time. Smooth shot is off. Clippers trail by six. Outside Griffin. Udrich. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Houston's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. All right, a chance to check out stats for Hart. He's been fantastic over the last ten games or so. First in three-point shooting. Second in field goal percentage. And don't forget, top five in the league in points per game. He's a premier offensive threat night in and night out. And not only is he dialing it up from deep, he's doing it with great consistency. One of our league's most efficient three-point shooters. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Booker. Clippers trail by six. Now Udrick. And the wide open shot from Reddick. Kept alive, and he gets the bucket. 12 points for Blake Griffin. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Harden inside the three-point line. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Here's Griffin. The shot no good. And it's Houston the other way. Last time they met was in Los Angeles where they beat the Clippers. And, and the last time these teams met, it was a and one in the park. And everybody got in on the act. Their bench was spectacular in that win. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, the starters were extremely happy to get some rest and let the bench guys do the heavy lifting. Definitely a feel-good win for the team. Reddick got good luck and good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And, and trailing in this game, now is not the time to start playing conservatively. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely I did. and with confidence. Don't underestimate I'm 7 him. of 10 from the loose, Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Oh, oh wait, what? You don't want to give any space to beyond the arc right now. The best long-range shooting guards in the past 10 games. James Harden, number one. And, you know, two guard is where we traditionally find the best shooters in our league, and he's no exception to that rule. I mean, look at the success he's having from three-point range. And, Greg, the key to that success for me is his constant movement without the ball. I mean, he works extremely hard to create and find the space he needs to get his shot off. Griffin dishes to Ilias over. 
Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Elias Silva has got nine points now in the quarter. Rockets leading by seven. Here's Smooth. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Elias Silva has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's really quite surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Yeah, not typical. They've been dominant on the board, but they are still falling short on the scoreboard. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Passes to Pierce. Here's the floater. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. Here's Capella, and the layup's good off the glass. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. Nine seconds left in the first half. They get a hand on it. Out of bounds. Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. Just three on the clock. Can't get it to go. And that does it for the first half of play. Rockets lead by seven. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris. Thank you, Kevin. Doc, what do you think is the main area this team needs to address going down the stretch? I tell you, every quarter we've had a two-minute stretch where, you know, guys are playing hard. They're trying to win. Uh, but you got to win together by running your stuff. And we're trying to make it up, and the turnovers are killing us right now. Coach, thanks for the time. Gentlemen, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you, and stay with us. Okay, guys, solid play so far. I like what I'm seeing. But just a few things to talk about before the second half. First things first, how about the job we've done in the paint offensive? It was men against boys down there. We've had our way with them. Our focus has to be operating as much as possible from the low block. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. And what a game for Bree. He's got 19 points, and his huge assist tally makes it all the more impressive. You know what? He's the catalyst. He's the reason why this team plays with such harmony. And if his passing continues, they are going to be dangerous. See if we can continue our success. Ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So for the Clippers right now, Paul and Crawford pair up at the one and two. Dudley and Griffin are small and power forwards. And it's Cantor in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Beasley kicks to Harden. He's looking for Howard and finds him. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Cantor sets the pit for Paul. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Paul's got 18 points in the game. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. It's smooth, and it's off from three-point range. Los Angeles has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Crawford, no luck. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Easily outside. Kicks to Freak. Doubled by Crawford. Howard with it, and Griffin picks him up defensively. Howard, the pass to Smooth. Bucket two. Here's Beasley, and the Rockets getting another bucket right there. I like the recognition of the mismatch there. And another assist. Making the defense pay. Paul kicks to Griffin. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Griffin's got 16. 
That's three of four here to start the half. Freak dishes to Howard. And taken away I don't know how. What was what was Howard doing? With the drive. Truly, I want to know. The Los Angeles Clippers, they come into this one following a loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And that was one of the few times that, that you'll see a team just lack fight defensively in losing that game. Yeah, and I know their fans may not want to hear it, but the reality and the truth is the defensive end of the floor was not what it needed to be in terms of effort. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Ball against Harden. Griffin passes to Dudley. He dishes it to Paul. And the Clippers miss again. Rockets leading by four. Freak gets to Ariza. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Another assist. Ariza's got 15. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. For his doors. Yes, guys, over that break, I was able to catch the message Houston's coach was giving to his team. He said their plan was run their offense through James Harden. Coach said the first thing they should be thinking about is getting the ball in his hands and letting him lead the way on each and every possession. There's still plenty of basketball left to play, and as we watch how these adjustments play out, Kev, it'll be interesting. All right, Doris, thanks. Griffin just having a terrific game. He's got 10 rebounds and a decent little assist total for him, too. No doubt they'd like to see that carry over to the rest of the team. Get good assist numbers all the way around. Good on both. Taking a look at some stats for Howard. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Averaging 13 points per game, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists. And, and really just excellent numbers. I like what we've been seeing from him across the board. I do too. I mean, he's playing with much more focus now and a much higher level of intensity. Houston leading by 4. Freak dishes to Beasley. Freak with it. Chris Paul covering. Deflects the pass. That was stupid. Stolen Why would I pass it there? Crawford, no one around him. A second chance effort. And Cantor with the lay in. Good. We're getting Cantor too many second chance efforts. The defense just gets caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance opportunity. You know, that just can't happen. They need much more effort than that on the glass. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a... That's a, that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Ilya Silva, he's checked in for Blake Griffin. It's Crawford with the drive. Crawford missing again. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Down low, got a piece of it. Out of bounds, Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. Okay, and one more rebound. Check out Freak here. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. First in scoring. First in assists, and he's first in the league in steals per game. Just an incredibly aggressive and tenacious defender. And I tell you what, his scoring abilities are almost otherworldly. I mean, no one's been able to slow him down or even come close. The kick out to Ilya Sova. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Now let's bring up the 2K leaderboard. Here are the top rebounders over the last month. Ennis Cantor is second. Well, he's got great energy, Kevin, when he goes after the ball. And that's got to be contagious to the rest of the team, I would think. I mean, that kind of production on the glass is great at both ends of the court. Right, Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Paul. Paul's been great. He's got 19 points and two steals. You know, as tremendous as his stats are, what I'd like most is just the effort he's put into this game. And Clark, he's worked his tail off 